I know it may seem in the videos that I'm just like, poof, here's a new animal, but trust whenever I say that this is all a long time coming. Honestly, I was planning our farm before we even got this property, um, knowing exactly what I wanted to have on it and kind of when we would incorporate each animal. For instance, one of the first animals that we got here on the farm were chickens because they're kind of the gateway farm animal very small and manageable as you're getting used to everything. And when we first moved to this property, we had a lot of cleanup and um, fencing to build up first before we could get any other animals. Rip, are you having the time of your life, buddy? Living the good life. Anytime we add an animal to our farm family, it is really important that we not only research the type of animal we're bringing on, if it's new to us, but also researching that particular animal. You know, take Rip for instance. I didn't just go and get a mini donkey. It took a really long time looking for the right one, mostly because we have goats and donkeys have a history of not being the nicest to goats. And also I have two young human children and it's important that all the animals are really kid friendly here. There is so much that goes into adding an animal to your farm family, especially one like ours that has so many different animals. And right now we do have them kind of like chilling all together because we have the space to do so. And because I know the temperaments of my animals allow for that, that is not very typical though. Rip actually came from a farm that was downsizing. Um, very common whenever people get older and they need to rehome their animals because they're moving off of their farm. So that's how we found him. So whenever I had found Rip, I wasn't necessarily in the market to add a mini donkey, but he was just too good to be true um, because he was really good with kids and goats and he's really mild mannered. And plus the whole aspect of, even though he's rehoming, he came at the right price point. Um, animals can be very, very expensive. Whether you're rescuing or buying, you're still shelling out money for those animals. In past videos, I've talked about the purpose of our farm and what we do here and all that jazz. You can check it out in my Frequently Asked Questions playlist. Um, but also to just clarify, we're a place to visit and to be a place to visit, I want my animals to be like cuddly and friendly and interactive with people. I mean, Virgil, He's a little shy, but at least I know that I'm not gonna have any major problems with an aggressive animal here. Gracie says, I got it, mama, don't you worry. I'm looking out for you.